Hey guys, welcome back. This is the Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be getting started with the Runic Altar and how to use it and how to set it up. I hope you guys are ready. Alright guys, so I know this is starting off pretty crazy, but I decided to come back to the nether because I wanted to get a hold of one of these guys and hopefully get some gas tears because I'm going to need them. So let's try. And let's try and get this guy... Hopefully my arrow skills are pretty good. Oh man, did we not get one? I don't think it dropped anything, to be honest. Did it drop any gas tiers? So, oh, it did. Good. Okay, so there's a gas tier. We're gonna need these gas tiers. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to find a few more gas. Hopefully I can find some more. And uh, also I'm gonna go I gotta gather a couple more blaze rods. And then we should be good uh, in the nether for right now anyways. I think that's a magma slime? I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm going to keep looking, and uh, I'll be back. All right, so now that we're back, as you can see, as long as we have uh, 10 blaze rods on us and a few gas tiers, we can actually complete this quest. It says the nether is a dark place. Okay, it's a red place with crazy, uh, with what? With crazy texture pack? That, okay. Um, <laughs> maybe it's a blue place. Oh, it's saying with crazy, with a crazy texture pack. I think what, I think this was originally uh, in this language and it was translated over here. Um, so yeah, with crazy texture pack, or with a crazy texture pack, maybe a blue pla place. However, we need things from the nether. Blaze powder is nice, but we need rods and uh, let the big ghost cry. <laughs> uh, we can need it. Okay, so it's giving us this. So we have the, uh, the Gorma. We got that guy, or we can get an alchemy catalyst. That is our options, right? To pick one or the other. Um... I don't know if, how, how expensive is the Gorma? Let's take a look at that thing. I'm pretty sure that's the, the, the one that actually eats food. Okay. Uh, the Gorma, Gorma, I can never say this. Uh, Gormoralis. I don't know why I can't pronounce this. Once I hear it pronounced, I can easily pronounce it. Uh, is a one hungry flower? Yeah, it eats uh, eats food. So yeah, that's uh, that's what we're gonna work on. Eventually, um, I don't know how much it actually. I think cake is something that it does real good. It says uh, steak will take four seconds to digest, and an apple will take two, and a loaf of bread will take two and a half, and so on. Okay. So yeah, we'll probably just go with the the catalyst. There's no need. Right now we're doing pretty good with just what, just what we have. So I'll go with the al alchemy catalyst and we'll get chest loot as well. What could this be? Oh, we get a black lotus, string, pumpkin seeds, name tags, all kinds of goodies. I will take all of those. I'm sure some might have dropped on the ground. Um, pumpkin seeds, all of our seed stuff goes over here. Some coal and iron and some more uh, string. That'd have been a nice early on getting that string because I had to grind for that string. And then I did gra uh, grab some more soul sand. I, I totally forgot that I had vein miner when I went to the nether. I should have realized that. <laughs> that was so derpy by me not uh, not doing or not using that. So I got some more, even more materials uh, right here that we we're going to need. Possibly. And along with some more gas tiers, which is awesome. It's exactly the amount we needed. Uh, at least that it recommended anyways. And I'm sure it's going to be used for some uh, more advanced stuff later on. But let's go ahead and just do this for right now. We can place, we can grab one of these pieces of dirt. And place a catalyst underneath here. And oh boy. Is this going to open some things up. I think we can change one of these pieces of cobblestone over. Just so it makes it match. Just for right now. And there we go. And then what we can do with this, I do believe, emits strong magical vibes. Throw it in there, and it gives you a little bit of uh, gives you a little bit of mana, just a little bit, not much, just a little bit. Um. Anyways, I want to get a rod today that'll allow me to make dirt. 
Because we need more dirt. Honestly, we need dirt. Um, there was more of that string that came out of there. We're going to need more dirt. I did get some more animals uh, spawning in over here um, with those cocoons. And then uh, the chickens lay eggs, so you don't have to worry about them. I just threw an egg in there and now I have two. Which is awesome, because we're actually going to need to breed them. Uh, let's go take some seeds. I need, I think, to kill one chicken. Because I'm going to need a feather. Okay, we got a few in here. I'm going to breed, breed them anyways. Same with the cows. Sorry, cows. You're going to have to be bred as well. Um, let's go ahead and get those. Which will work. The, the cows will require wheat. Uh, I think we're going to need some bone meal. <laughs> we're going to have to get some wheat. Where's the bone? There it is. So that should get us a little bit of wheat. Just to kind of get things moving. There we go. We'll get some cows breeded up as well. That space is going to get really tiny really quick. That's why I want to be able to make a rod that will allow us to make dirt with a little bit of mana. It doesn't require too much mana. So sheep also need to be bred up as well. And so I'll get both of those going. There's going to be a bunch of animals in this little bit of space. But that's okay. We'll make it bigger for them later. All right. So now that we have that done... Let's go ahead and take a look at our Lexi Batania. And uh, we're going to need to work on something else. Man uh, mana manipulation, I do believe, is what we're going to be working on next. And uh, that goes all the way over into the next page. Uh, no, we're going to need a mana spreader. And it's not in this page. It's probably in basic and mechanics. Runic. Right here, the Runic Altar. We're going to work on making the Runic Altar. It requires a mana pearl and simply living rock. That is a very easy recipe with the amount of stuff that we currently have. And then we're also gonna need some living wood as well. Um, so let's take some of this living wood and living rock. We're gonna throw it to a crafting table. This, I'm gonna have to get that here in a minute. And uh, we're also gonna need a mana pearl, which I have in my loot chest. We'll throw one of those in there. There we go, that was easy enough. And let's go ahead and make the altar. There's our runic altar, perfect. Um, and let's check our, our achievement guide as well, because this does open up to new things. So our runic altar, we just need one. And it looks like we can get any of these runes once this is claimed and we've made every single one of these runes. Which makes sense, because once you have all the runes, you can make these runes and they don't cost any of your main runes. Okay. So with that being done, I think we're going to have to fish as well here soon. Because if I remember correctly, correctly some of those... Uh, runes actually require fish. It's going to be interesting to uh, to fish with one plot of water, but uh, we'll figure it out. Anyways, now that we have that, we need to make another mana spreader because this needs to pipe mana possibly into two mana spreaders. I might actually have a mana spreader here and then an another one over here so that way it uh, can just direct it. I think that's going to be the best thing for us. We'll have a mana spreader here that'll pipe up, or we can put the mana spreader on any, any of these sides. Let's go ahead and see how that would work. I'm going to need a couple of flowers. And let's go ahead and make the mana spreaders. Um, I was working as well on getting some more wood, because I knew I was going to need some of this. And there we go. And like, I mean, we're, we're doing this as simple as possible, guys. We're not rushing this. I'm, not, I'm taking my time. So there's our two mana spreaders. I think that would look perfectly fine. Let's have a mana spreader here. And then we'll have a mana spreader right here. And what we can do is we can place our altar. Let's see, one, two, three. We can do it right here. It's not a big deal. We can place that guy right there. And let's go ahead and get these linked up. So this is going to be pulling from this. So we can shift here and shift here. And as you can see, it's going to pull some mana out of here just to fill the internal buffer of this. And then we're going to shift right click here and then shift click here to link that to here. So yeah, now this is pulling out, shooting over here, and it's going into this. Whereas this is uh, just filling up filling up with, uh, with mana from these endo flames. So we're doing pretty good. We got a little basic setup. Uh, just enough so we can get some runes going. And it shouldn't require too much mana uh, to make these runes at all. It doesn't require too much. 
So one of the main runes, one of the first runes that I want to make for sure to get going is I want a Rod of the Lance. So if we go back in here, we can look at the Rod of the Lance. So we have all kinds of different rods, but the Rod of the Lands is going to be very helpful for us in getting uh, getting dirt. And we need a Rune of Earth. If we shift, shift right click, we can see what the recipe is. Any mushroom, a block of coal, stone, mana steel, and powder. And then we're also going to need a catalyst, which I'll talk about that here in a second. So let's go ahead and find us a mushroom. We can use any one. There's a mushroom. We are going to need mana dust or uh, the this right here which is gunpowder gunpowder or redstone I think and glowstone can be converted um, I think if I throw gunpowder in there right now it'll turn it into something different let's just go ahead and get coal and we'll turn that into a block because we're gonna need that as well and then the redstone should turn into oh glowstone <laughs> I think I need to remove this from underneath here. This is probably going to have to be removed every now and then. I need to get a piston. That's sometimes that's going to that that might be the best solution is a piston. Ow, that was a lucky fall there. And we can go ahead and, and make a piston pretty easy right now. So, three cobblestone, and I'll show you I've done this in the past and this is going to become very helpful with our one uh setup that we have. Uh, we'll just use a piston, a uh, sticky piston. Ooh. Speaking of sticky pistons. We can't make a sticky piston. So. We could do... Two, maybe? No. I think it's best. We'll just leave it like it is. We'll just do it manually for right now. Until we get uh, the sticky piston. Which, actually, we could probably get that. Let's take a look in our quest book. That was one of the, the first quests here. The mob farm. Nice, because we have all of these completed. Let's complete that, and we get a slime ball. Oh, sweet. And the slime ball is able to do that, but we can also use the slime ball to turn it into cactus, because cactus is interchangeable with slime. And we have sand. Because, uh... We can get sand... Right here... Um, from cobblestone. As long as we have this underneath it. Sweet. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and make some sand. Now that we have the ability. I'm just going to do four for now. And then we're going to turn this one slime ball into cactus. And we'll just make a little farm down here for cactus. There we go. That is perfect. And we'll just wait for that to grow, but for right now we're going to do this manually. Until that's done, then we can put a sticky piston here and then swap it back and forth. It, it's really easy. Alright, let's just go ahead and get the few things that we need here. So it was redstone. We'll go. I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of those mana powers, powders. And then we're going to need... Not two, but I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of mana still anyways. Um, okay, and I think that's just about it, right? for this rune. And, uh, let's see, I have everything except for a piece of stone. We have one piece of stone. There we go. Alright, so we'll drop the stone. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna place it in here. Um, we're also going to need to have a piece of living rock on us. That's the catalyst. And then you're just gonna place it down. Each individual item. So there we go. And then one mana powder as well. We're gonna need the mushroom. And last but not least, the coal block. And as soon as you place the right amount of items in, it's going to start. Bam. You're going to hear that sound. And as you can see, it, do it doesn't require too much mana. But it is pulling out of the mana pool. And we can keep an eye on the mana pool here. You see, it doesn't drain too much. And currently, it's using the internal buffer. And you can see that it's going relatively quickly. Or going, going pretty fast. And once it's done... Once it hits that max points, you're going to see lightning shooting up all over the place. There's that lightning. That's when you're going to take one living rock. And it's easier, I think, to just right-click the living rock onto the block. But you can throw it on manually. And then just, you know, hit it with your wand. 
Just hit it with your wand and you're good to go. And there we go. Drop pop candy. How cool is that? And we're going to use this rune of earth. Not only for other recipes, such as the Sojourner's Sash, which will be really nice later on. Um, but we can also use it in recipes such as this, where it doesn't even consume them. Crafting recipes, it does consume them. So keep that in mind. It will consume your recipes when uh, doing these things. So, let's see what we can use it with. The Rod of the Lance. So we need one piece of dirt, which we have on us. We need some living wood to make some twig. And there we go. Twig, dirt, one rune, we get the Rod of the Lands. Nice. So the Rod of the Lands lets us place dirt infinitely. For, I mean, at least as long as we have some mana. So now I can make a tons of dirt. And then if I want to make this dirt grass, um, what I can do is make a pasture seed. And that is just some grass, which by throwing a bone mill and then shearing it, you can get yourself a pasture seed and uh, you can turn this into grass pretty nice it's gonna be very useful for when I expand this mob farm here um, not only that we also I do believe there's a rod um, that makes cobblestone if I remember correctly I think it's the not the rod of the seas rod of the highlands I think uh, one of those I think makes cobblestone uh, but anyways we have dirt that it doesn't even matter we have dirt now tons of dirt I'm so happy that we have this. Now I can get my little spot set back up with actual dirt. And this uses very little mana, guys. Very little. Um, we can now expand our farm. We can actually have a pretty decent farm and not have to worry about the little dirt that we actually had. Which is wonderful. So, now that we have this, <laughs> it's going to be pretty smooth selling. Uh, let's go ahead and get a few other things, though. We're going to have to work on making... A few other types of uh, a few other types of runes. Um, so let's go ahead and clear out our inventory for the most part. Get some of the stuff out. We are going to need to work on some more um, living rock for sure and stone. I think I have some stone in here. Yes. Okay. So we're going to work on more of that. Now that I have this rod, I can actually place down another uh, another one of these uh, dirt spots. So I can place my other flower. There we go. That's so convenient. That's so nice. Now, whenever you've been struggling without dirt for as long as you, as long as I have, you really appreciate it once you get it. So here we go. Uh, here's our second uh, pure daisy that we had. I can make these floating. Somebody did recommend that. I can do that now because I do have the rod of the lands um, to make a floating flower. Um, I'm pretty sure that you're going to need, if I remember correctly, I think you might need ice, uh, or snow. Uh, to make a floating flower of any type, you need dirt, a pasture seed, and then a glimmering type of the flower. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's grab some of our, our glowstone now that we have it. And we can make glimmering, uh, flowers. Let's see, I'm going to use one I have a bunch of. Those, and I have a bunch of the blacks. Awesome. And let's take the three pasture seeds that we have. And what we can do is we can add this to the flowers. That'll make them glimmering. And right now we only have enough for three. And then uh, just add that to this. So we take the dirt, glimmering flowers, and the pasture seeds, and we'll get floating flowers. And then we can take these guys here and actually combine them with the floating flowers that's there and uh, it'll replace the flower that was on it. So there we go. Now we have two floating and they also light up the area as well. I'll break that. You can see uh, if I was to place the glimmering ones they would light up the area anyways. Right now they're not, they're not really, these don't light up because these are not technically glimmering ones. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. Oh, also I wanted to mention that uh, the pick, the mana pick, it places down torches even when it's not in your offhand. You gotta love that. Just for that simple reason to have this mana pick alone is awesome. Plus it breaks obsidian, which is even better. Alright, let's go ahead and get some of this stone wrapped around this. And this one. We'll get a bunch of stone going. And then uh, I'll work on wood next. And uh, we're gonna get this going, guys. 
before long is I, I hope that uh, I hope this makes this grow a little bit faster soon there are stuff in this pack that uh, in Batania that actually allow you to grow things faster which will be rare, very handy once we get going here soon okay so let's go ahead and throw this back in our inner chest kind of sort some of the things out that we have um, and let's see this this is all the back stuff that I have been doing and been working on. We don't need this many golden horse armors, and I don't know if you can smelt them back down. You can smelt them, but... Mm, I don't think they have any other use, no. What a waste. I'll keep one in case we do get a horse, because I think some golden horse armor would look pretty good. But here we go. So yeah, we're going to need some more of this, we're going to need some more living wood. It's just going to be handy just to have this stuff. And uh, also I need to get more mana generating while I'm doing this. So let me go ahead and grab this out. We'll grab some of that. There we go. That'll get more mana, mana going. You got to love these uh, endo flames. They do produce quite a bit. They do produce quite a bit, definitely. Alright, so we're getting this all done. And there we go. Okay, so that's good enough for right now. Um, let's take a look at runes. We're going to technically need all these runes. So a water rune is going to require sugar cane. To get sugar cane, it's going to require a hay bell. To get a hay bell, and to get started with that, we're actually going to need some bone. I think that might be, 30 might be enough to get us a hay bale. I don't know. Yes, it got us a hay bale. Perfect. So that's one hay bale. That'll get us one sugar cane, which I can put right there. And we'll have a little bit of a sugar cane going, farm going on. Just a tiny little bit. Uh, it won't be, won't be anything special, but it'll get the job done. There we go. There's a hay bell. Toss that in there. Now we have a piece of sugar cane. And we can, should be able to place this. Let me move this piece of sand to here. There we go. And now we'll get some sugar cane growing. All right. So, that is for the water one. We're also going to need bone mill and a fishing rod for the water. The rune of fire is going to require nether wart, gunpowder, and nether brick. Um, we can go ahead and get stuff for that cooking up. We'll need some nether brick. I'm not going to use too much of that. The rune of earth we've already made. This is going to require a feather, carpet, and string for the rune of air. And the rune of spring is going to be all saplings. And the, Okay, that's we're getting into the rune of springs and stuff. We only need these first few right here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. The Rune of Water, we'll skip. We'll do the Rune of Fire for right now. And then I'm also going to need some redstone. Some of this. Because everything requires these few items. And we need, let's see, one, two, three, left. All right, so last but not least, uh, we are ready to go. I have just about everything set up for the last few that we need. Uh, let's see. So the Rune of Water is all here. The Rune of Fire is currently in the uh, in here. All we need is uh, this right here. All we need is the mana, the mana steel ingots and the mana powder to get this the guy rocking and rolling. And uh, yeah, I have everything else set up here. So you need a fishing rod, bone mill, sugar cane. I just went ahead and bone milled some more to get the sugar cane so I didn't have to wait. And uh, everything else, a feather from a chicken. And all that other good stuff. We have everything needed to make all of these runes, guys. This is uh, this is us getting early on. And whenever we have these runes, it's going to allow us to be able to make a few fancy things. Um, let's take a look in our Lexicopatania while this stuff is processing. And we can kind of see a few things that we can do with runes. Let's take a look at runes. Oh, I actually should probably pay attention to this because... This is actually not going to take very long. Um, I need to get my wand out. 
And then I need a piece of living rock. There we go. Bam. Alright, let's go ahead and place a few more of those on here. We go ahead and clear everything out but the items that we're going to need in the slots. We can go ahead and make the water one. There we go. And I, we should have plenty of mana for this. Shouldn't take too long at all, actually, to make every single one of these guys. Um, yeah, like I said, making individual runes is going to help us make rods. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make every single rod in here. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to make every rod. Um, it's just we're gonna require some it's a little bit of mana. So, as you can see, there we go. And we can hit that with the wand. There's our runes of water. And uh, then we're going to have these go on, which are going to make another set of earth. Which shouldn't take too long at all, either. Also, it'd probably help if I uh, threw down some more coal. We can throw down a little bit of this as well. Just to get it running. And I need to make a magnet as well while I'm working on this stuff. Um, we may do that in a future episode when I definitely, when I actually need the magnet is when I want to make it. Let's go ahead and go here. Okay, so we have just about everything done. The last one is going to require these few items. And a feather. And there we go. And uh, this is going to be the main set, and I think this is what it requ uh, required under this tab, right? Is to make just the main ones, the earth, water, fire, and air. Awesome. So the only one we haven't completed is the air, which is almost done. Guys, we are getting all the runes today. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I know I really am. Um, I'm enjoying just the fact that the way Batania looks is just so nice. There we go. All right, so we got all the runes. That wasn't that hard, was it? No, wasn't that hard at all. And quest complete. Now we get to choose what we want. Do we want a spring, summer rune? The, our best bet is to look and see what the uses are for. So this will take it and turn it into the uh, terra uh, firma, but it requires a terra still later on. Um, the rune of water in the spring will get us the goddess charm, which we'd have to look up and see what that actual that item actually does. There's nothing here that because we it requires terra steel. We're not at terra steel yet. Um, spring, summer. Let's see. We can do that's the spring rune. The summer rune can make a bounce lens and can make this pendant. So the rune of fire and the rune of summer will make this pendant that makes us fire proof. Very nice pendant here. Um. That might be one to look into. So I'll remember summer. Autumn lets us make the uh, Cirrus amulet. Which that also requires autumn. And it's more terra still stuff. Um, okay. And the rune of winter lets us make a gravity lens. And the snowflake pendant. I think the best one to go with is definitely summer. Uh, the summer, because we can make, we can make this, uh, the, uh, pyro, pyro class pendant, pyro class pendant, right here, rune of summer and fire with some mana string, awesome pendant to get, uh, it does require a little bit of mana, but it prevents you from catching on fire and stuff, so, that's awesome, that'll be good against, uh, going and getting more blaze rods and stuff like that. Alright, so, that's what we'll do, we'll, uh, pick summer. So, all of these are complete. Rune of Summer. Let's claim it. And there we go. Awesome. So now it's going to open us up to Terra Steel and then Enchanting with Mana. So that's going to be our next few steps is Enchanting with Mana and getting some Terra Steel. Um, and as you can see, we do get some more Endo Flames, some Sparks and things like that whenever we do make this uh, Terra... Uh, I, I always call it the Agglomeration Plate. <laughs> the Terra Steel uh, Agglomeration Plate is what I call it. Um, let's see. 
and it's going to be a little bit before we can actually get into that. We need to set up a better way to generate mana because right now we're just not producing nowhere near enough mana. And I'm thinking uh, possibly a tree farm might be our best bet for uh, automating uh, some Batania stuff, automating some Batania mana early game. And I think setting up a different area other than the main hub right here would be a great place to move our Batania setup. And we can easily move our Batania because currently our mana tablet is running uh, about as much as what's in this mana pool. So we can easily move this stuff or create another mana tablet. It all depends on if we need to or not. But uh, I think we're going to work on that possibly next episode. I don't know. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. Let's go.